Hey, this is Servlon. Welcome to this new video about the Aegis Reclaimer, which is the heavy duty ship for salvage. The first thing you can notice at the front of the ship is this huge clothes which will be used for ship munching. This feature is not ready yet, but maybe in a few months we can have this feature and it will provide another dimension to the reclaimer. You can also notice the two turrets for salvage, obviously, and the cockpit. This ship has various ways to get in, but now we will use the elevator which is designed for one person only. Once you get inside the ship, you are welcomed by a first room with some terminal and scanning station at the middle. On your left, you have the munching area, which is not implemented yet. You have an elevator that can make you reach the upper decks, some escape pods, some components area, which are not working yet, and an emergency ladder in case the elevator is not working. Moving on, on the next room, we have the cockpit area with uh, two turrets for salvage which needs uh, two operators as you can see and at the end the pilot and co-pilot seat. Let's start this beast now so we can take off and uh, leave this anchor so we can reach space and continue the visit. As you can see, the reclaimer can be very tricky during takeoff and landing. It's a very heavy ship and it needs some practice, definitely, especially in Atmo. So once you want to land with a reclaimer full of salvage in the future, uh, make sure you have the correct pilot in the cockpit. <laughs> And talking about this subject, do you have any ship that is totally a nightmare for you to land or take off and you, you need to operate this ship but once you reach atmosphere and you see the landing areas you are like oh my god how I will do to land this thing. I, I will be glad to know what kind of ship is your nightmare and maybe we have nightmares that are in common you know. Back to the visit, we continue with the terminals we saw. So some terminals are for turrets, some are for scanning. To be honest, uh, the remote turrets are pretty obvious for what it does. It just permits you to defend the ship. But the scanning station, obviously not all the features are implemented. And what you can do right now is manage some components and don't do the mistakes like me to deactivate some components like shields because you can definitely do that with the stations so don't let any player mess with the settings of the ship because you could be in trouble after that continuing the visit we will take the elevator and we will go to the upper deck on this next room you have some corridors with on the middle the drone stations an access to the main turret the gravity generator and of course the ladder that we discussed earlier in case the elevator is not available. Now let's go to the drone station. You will have two seats to operate the drones. We don't have much details from CIG so far but we think that these drones will be to find derelicts or ships to munch. So it will be very useful to scout because the reclaimer is a pretty heavy ship as you saw. So if you can use the drones to do the scout work, it will be perfect. Now I want to show you the turret area, which is the main turret of the ship. So in case you get attacked by pirates, you definitely need to run there and enter this turret to defend the ship and your cargo. It's pretty useful, it has a nice view, uh, in my opinion it's the most practical turret of the ship. Now we go past the station again and we continue further right to this small room which is a kind of server room. Uh, it's not very precise what you can do with it. And now some more escape pods which will be handy since it's a multi crew ship. A view through the stairs uh, to the munching area. And this area which is the habitation deck. 
here you have the docking collar access. It's pretty useful to get outside or for pirates to get in, for example. So it's a small pirate trick to know. A kitchen. Then you have a nice window with a cool view, which is rare uh, on most of the ships. A nice table where you can share food and help your friends because when you get out for salvage operation it can be pretty long and take few hours to do so so you definitely need to be prepared regarding water and food supply now you have the crew area with the bed also the bathroom which is pretty dirty <laughs> it seems like not much people are doing the cleaning in this ship obviously now in in front of the crew area you have the captain's area with a nice desk and some screens and monitors you have a nice view your personal bed and to the end of this small room your personal bathroom continuing further you reach this room you have airlocks on the left airlocks on the right you can also put some space suits in here and of course you can get out of the ship. And the airlock is located right in the middle of the ship. So we get back in. You also notice that on this room we have some ladders and this reaches the engineer area where you will be able to manage the engine uh, probably change components uh, i guess the reclaimer will have a kind of rework regarding engineering because as you can see there are some components area a bit everywhere in the ship so it's not the most practical thing so maybe we will see a change regarding this we continue the visit uh, through the salvage balcony. Uh, so far, this area has no purpose except having a nice view, as you can see. Uh, there are some hooks, but uh, we don't have any features related to this yet. So I really wonder what we are supposed to do in here in the future. Now we switch to the heart of the reclaimer, which is the salvage processing area with the two machines that do produce the, the salvage boxes that everyone is looking for. And it's the, in this area that you will spend most of your time. I will show you how it's done a bit later. Here you have a lift, which is pretty interesting because not many people know about this lift. It can be operated, but there is no terminal to use the thing. So I will show you a bit later how it's done. Uh, now we switch to the salvage hold where you are supposed uh, to, to store the salvage, but nobody used this place somehow uh, because there is no grid. And you can see you can reach this place through the lift also. It's a bit glitchy so far, but uh, again, I will show you how it works. And lastly, you have the cargo area where you are supposed to store anything and not necessarily the salvage. But again, there is no grid there, so not very useful at the moment. Uh, we hope uh, CIG uh, do something about all these unused rooms of the reclaimer in the future. And to conclude this elevator trip, there is the exit. Because it's the buggy reclaimer, we glitch through the door. Uh, what is nice from this uh, elevator exit is that it's covered by a turret, so you can get your salvage out of the ship safely. Now I will show you the little secret. It's not so much of a secret, but I've noticed through my gameplays that not many people know about this, which is very surprising. Uh, uh, you go to the cockpit and you open all doors and then it opens the lift at the rear end of the ship. And as you will see, it's very practical to know this uh, feature. It's very practical because as you can see, you can go to the rear of the ship and now the lift is open, giving you an access to the outside. And what it does is that you can just take your salvage and uh, throw it through this gap 
so anyone who is outside in space can get the salvage box directly from there you don't need to operate the manual lift that we saw earlier so it's pretty convenient in my opinion so i'm surprised not more people know about this and by the way if you happen to learn about this feature through my video put a comment and tell me i hope this trick will be useful for you in the future the visit of the ship is finished so now it's time for salvage and look at that big boy, it's a Misk Hull C, the newly released ship, which is the biggest hauler in the game right now. I will be doing a visit of this ship in a few days in my videos, so don't hesitate to keep in touch with the channel. Just a quick selfie and let's go! Warning, you are blocking an active flight bay. Okay, Please no selfie, <laughs> let's go now! Initiating ship storage procedure. No, 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 You're no, I'm gone, I'm gone. Okay, so I think we are safe now. So what I will do is just uh, jump to a station. So we start our salvage mission. Uh, I want to show you the old classic way to do so. We will not use a mission for that. We will scout, find something to salvage. And I want to show you this process. To salvage, you first need to discover where are the derelicts and to do so, you need to use the ping of your ship that will reveal all the points of interest which are around your ship, represented by these small cubes uh, which you can see here in blue. Once you find these squares, you can uh, switch to scan mode and uh, just aim at this square. So thanks to the signature on the right of your screen, you can see through this value what is the type of uh, thing which is hiding behind this point of interest without having to go there. And I know this might sound confusing at first, but to find derelicts to salvage, there is a specific signature that you have to find, which is a value that you could divide by 2000. So it's a bit weird saying this like this, but simply put, if you find something which is 2000, it means it's uh, something to salvage. If it's 4000, it means there are two pieces to salvage. If it is like 6000, it means there is three pieces to salvage. If it's not something round like this and it's something more like 1800 or something, it means it's an asteroid and it's not something to salvage. So you can just ignore this point of interest and continue your way until you find one which has the value that you are looking for. So as you can see so far, I just found asteroids and it's a kind of long process. You need to be a bit lucky to find the derelicts to salvage. So to me, this is a part of a first step to exploration gameplay. So personally, I enjoy this research time. Uh, I know some people don't, uh, but uh, for me, it's really part of the salvage uh, operations. So yeah, sometimes you need to be a bit lucky, but uh, overall it's also a nice way to fly through space and be looking for something interesting, so I really like it. And finally, after looking around a bit, we found a candidate. As you can see, the signature is 4000, it means it's a derelict to salvage and it's 2 times 2000, so there are two pieces. Uh, which is mm, pretty okay. Something I cannot show you here, but of course you can salvage ships that you find and their signature is different. It's not 2000 or 4000 or something like that. It's usually a big number, which is uh, pretty different from asteroids, which are also most of the time around 1800 something. So if you see something which is uh, different, don't hesitate to have a look. It's part of exploration process and you may find something like an A2 or a very big ship to salvage, which will be uh, really a lot of money for you. So you definitely need to have a look. Right now I position myself a bit above the derelict so the turrets are uh, in good position and let's start the process of salvage. I enter an operator seat of one of the turrets 
I power on and then enter the remote turret. Now I'm controlling the salvage head. Uh, I'm just positioning it with the mouse so I can start the process of salvage. And when I'm ready, I just left click and it, it starts the salvage process. You can see on the right that I have two different heads. There is a small one which is supposedly more efficient and there is a larger one which is maybe better for big ships. And so you can try both. To be honest, I didn't really see much of a difference, but uh, it's something you need to try yourself. On the left side of the screen, you can see the percentage of valid material that you can salvage. When it's zero, it means there is nothing to, to get uh, from the piece you are trying to salvage because there is no material anymore. And also you can see the first bar which explains the remaining salvage on the entire part you are trying to salvage. So it will decrease uh, slowly step by step until you, you got everything. So it will be 0% at the time. And also you have the cargo bar, which is the rate at which you are fulfilling your SCU boxes of salvage. And once you reach uh, 1.0, it means you did create one box of salvage at the rear of the, sh of the ship in the salvage processing area. Now we reached one SCU, which means the machine is pausing to eject our first box at the salvage processing room. So it's nice, you did your first box, congrats. A quick point, uh, as you can see, the filler station didn't finish ejecting the box that I already started to salvage again. Don't do that, it's useless. And I just wanted to prove you a point here is that once the filler station will be finished, you will see that despite I salvage a bit during this process, uh, I didn't start to create the second box and there will be nothing in it. It will be totally empty. So this is just a loss. So don't do that. Just wait for the filler station to have finished his job and then start salvaging again when it's okay. Now we almost did our second box of salvage and you will see the filler station message will have a different color. It will be red saying the station is full. What it means is that each salvage machine can produce only two boxes of salvage before being full. And once it's full, you need to go there uh, and uh, clear the machine manually with the tractor beam. Of course in the reclaimer you have two turrets which means we have two machines so one machine is full now so I can just switch turrets and make sure to create two other boxes from the other machine before I go to the salvage processing area to manage these boxes with the tractor beam. Now the second machine is full, so it's time to go to the processing area so we can manage the salvage cargo. As you can see, you have two boxes already and also two more boxes which are stuck inside each machine, so we will have to take care of that. Once the first box is moved, it's possible to go interact with the machine so we can eject the last one. One quick note for the managing of the cargo, as you can see, you cannot stack the boxes upon each other uh, for some reasons. So don't be surprised by this. Maybe it will be fixed by CIG someday, but currently it's impossible to stack them. 
One last thing that I want to show you is that these machines, they can uh, make you create uh, multi-tools and as you can see here, I salvaged a little bit more the equivalent of one SCU which is inside the machine. So I did not eject the box. If you do so, you will not be able to craft because the material will not be available anymore. And once you're ready, you can go on the panel, click create, and you can see that you can manufacture a multi-tool, a tractor beam. So if you, you forgot to bring one, it's a way to create one and be able to manage the cargo. Now you know everything about the reclaimer, you saw every room, so you know how to operate the ship, you know how to find derelicts to salvage so gg one last thing though is that we did the salvage mission the hard way as you saw but you have much easier way to do now because uh, recently cig provided us with the uh, salvage missions and to find them you simply have to go in your mobi glass in the contract manager and you will see that you have various salvage missions available with uh, different levels uh, sometimes you will have to pay to get the coordinates to some derelicts to salvage. If you are lucky, you could also find some expensive stuff in the cargo area of the ships you are supposed to salvage. So it will be a nice extra. So as you can see, salvage is uh, evolving. We talked about the ship munching, which will be uh, provided to us hopefully in few months and which will be another step towards the salvage gameplay so you have various way to operate uh, your ships and have fun with salvage being solo being in crew so i hope you enjoy and if you appreciated the video please put a comment like uh, subscribe to follow me and fly safe in the verse and have fun my friends